Mm -hmm. Thank you, Haley. News Channel 3's Marion Bouchot continues First Alert team coverage live in downtown Palm Springs. And Marion, just how are businesses and tourists dealing with this latest wave of extreme heat? John, I mean, just like how Haley said, we had record-breaking heat over here today in Palm Springs. I was here earlier today sweating it out, and there were still tourists out here. Not a lot, but there still were. And right here, okay, Palm Springs loves you. You see this all over downtown and in different banners. But do tourists feel the same way about the city, even when it's this hot? Some say it's still worth it. Looking for something to do, and we decided we really ought to have some Mexican food while we are here and so we're, we we got to do the Marilyn Monroe thing yeah we are, we're going to try and poke around some of the shops while we can Susan Alstrom is from Connecticut and Martha Klein Larson is from New Orleans this is way too much heat <laughs> <laughs> but they're not letting it ruin their vacation I initially have been so relieved because in the Northeast we've had a lot of rain a lot of thunderstorms a very rainy summer Another visitor from Nebraska says he knew what he was getting into. Uh, I mean, we expected the heat, so it didn't really change our mood on anything. The owner of La Bonitas says the extreme heat isn't helping. I've been here for 40 years in Palm Springs, and this is, as far as I remember, this was the hottest summer we ever experienced. He says his machinery constantly needs repairs. Plus, having shortage in uh, and uh, getting customer in because there's nobody walking in downtown. The owner of Crazy Mel's Burgers and Bar says he notices more people after the sun dips behind the mountains. Basically, there's that in the middle of the afternoon, no one's here, the streets are empty. I think they're doing a fiesta. He says his local clientele keeps the business in good shape. But then there's the curiosity seekers. Is it really 120 there? Let me see what that's like. And there are people actually out there that come here because of the heat. They, they want to experience it. Businesses and tourists have no choice but to adapt to the heat. I'm not going to lie, it is still so hot out here. I am still just sweating buckets. But, I mean, hopefully as the sun goes down, we'll start to see more people here because right now there still isn't that many and it's still pretty hot. But hopefully it will cool off just enough to bring more tourists in. In Palm Springs, Marion Bouchot, News Channel 3. It's the real deal out there. Thank <laughs> you, Marion. Keep it right here on News Channel 3 on the air and online for your latest weather updates and forecasts. You can get constant weather information anytime with our First Alert weather app. Download it for free. Just search KESQ First Alert in the Apple Store or Google Play.